People have been observing for almost a century that adults with bipolar disorder disproportionately uh, have cardiovascular death. And uh, what we've been examining with this study is looking at cardiac illness that might precede uh, cardiovascular mortality. And we know that adults with bipolar disorder have higher rates of um, glucose problems or diabetes, high cholesterol. The piece that's been missing so far has been a representative look, so looking at the general population and how the rates of heart disease compare among people with and without bipolar disorder. So we looked at two main things. One was the prevalence of hypertension and the other of cardiovascular diseases, so people that have had heart attacks and uh, precursors of heart attacks. And what we found was that if you control for age, if you control for demographic factors, adults with bipolar disorder are five times more likely than adults with no mood disorders to have heart disease. Another factor that we examined was how old are these people that have heart disease. And if you look at people with heart disease and compare those that have versus those that don't have bipolar disorder, the ones with bipolar disorder are about 14 years younger. So this gives us some concern that these processes, which probably start, uh, if not decades, then years before the first signs of heart disease, might be even affecting adolescents that we see. So fortunately, when you're dealing with adolescents, we're not talking about full heart attacks, and the main way that we hope to intervene is by prevention, and that involves both education about the effects of the medication as well as the effects of the illness on cardiac risk, as well as the effects of smoking and having um, counseling regarding the importance of nutrition and, and healthy lifestyle. Those are factors that, import, that are important for everybody, but they're particularly important for people with bipolar disorder. What we hope to do at Sunnybrook in response to this challenge that is before us is to try to integrate medical and psychiatric care together and also to try to intervene at the earliest possible stages before any of the full signs of heart disease are obvious. And what we want to do is change those outcomes for people that are currently adolescents so that when they grow up they have uh, greater longevity and higher quality of life.